of us. Here's Adam with sports. Yep, we've got some Lobo action. Former Lobo great Luke Longley back in the pit for the first time, he says, since he left school. Lobos were hoping that Big Luke would bring them luck, hosting UNLV, a very good team. Slow start for the Cherry and Silver. Roman Martinez lays in two of his 15 points. Running Rebels out to a 19-8 early lead. Trevon Willis ahead to finish two of his 20 points and the foul. UNM would battle back. Darrington Hobson looked a little off today, but he did score 14 points, grab seven rebounds. And then Darius Gary's going to jar the tough jumper here as the shot clock expires. He had 17 points. Lobos briefly took the lead in the first. And then Philip McDonald's three-pointer from the corner got the pit crowd pumped up. He had 10, and UNM was hanging around in this one. End of the half, Martinez, four-point play here, had the place rocking. The ball goes down. He's pumped. Lobos, though, down seven at the break. And in the second half, Steve Alford was angry at the refs, his players, angry at just about everything. Lobos did get the game tied, but Kendall Wallace went bonkers. Drained a career-high seven three-pointers, finished with a game-high 21 points, and UNLV wins 74-62. to Lobos are now 0-2 in Mountain West play. We just haven't been shooting the ball well, uh, and everybody's talking about it, so our guys are, uh, I guess our guys are listening to all of it, and then we didn't defend the way we need to defend in the last 10 minutes uh, when you're not making shots, and then all of a sudden your defense collapses a little bit. Uh, bad things happen when you're playing good teams, and UNLV uh, is a very, very good basketball team. We need to prepare better and practice some, and um, you know, when it comes to game time, we need to hit those big shots. We need to you know, be able to stop teams at the end of the game, and that's what we're struggling with.